If cos a equals to 5 by 13 and a is not in first quadrant, then find the value of sin a minus cos a by tan a plus 1. Now, we have been given that cos a is 5 by 13, cos is positive. Cos is positive in first quadrant and fourth quadrant. We have first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant all are positive here, here cos is positive and secant, here tan is positive, here sin is positive. So, cos is positive, but it is not in first quadrant, then it should be in fourth quadrant. So, let us just plot a small triangle for this. This is A and this is B, this is C they gave us cos a is 5 by 13. So, cos a is 5 by 13 and we know sin and tan are negative. By Pythagoras theorem, we can get 12 and that value should be negative for us. So, let us write down now what is sin a. Sin a equals to opposite by hypotenuse that is minus 12 by 13 and tan a equals to opposite by adjacent. This is our opposite side, this is our adjacent and this is our hypotenuse. Opposite by adjacent tan a that is minus 12 by 5. Now, once we understood this, we can directly go ahead and substitute. What we need to find out is sin a minus cos a divided by tan a plus 1 what is sin a according to us that is minus 12 by 13 minus cos a that is minus 5 by 13 divided by tan a plus 1 that is tan a minus 12 by 5 plus 1. Let us simplify this we will have minus 17 by 13 divided by 1 minus 12 by 5 that is minus 7 by 5. So, this will be equals to minus minus will cancel 17 by 13 into 5 by 7, which cannot be simplified. So, it is 85 divided by 91. So, we have sin a minus cos a by tan a plus 1 equals to 85 by 91. So, the most important thing is this particular point that cos a is positive and a is not in first quadrant. That means, a is in fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, sin and tan both of them are negative. So, we take the values appropriately then substitute for sin a minus cos a by tan a plus 1. We got sin a minus cos a by tan a plus 1 equals to 85 divided by 91.